फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम हियर विद माय डेली प्रिडिक्शंस एंड एनालिसिस फॉर यूएस 30 एंड यूएस 100 इफ यू रिकॉल माय यस्टरडेज एनालिसिस आई हैड टोल्ड इट 15 500 फॉर यूएस 100 एंड 34 700 for US 30 must hold on and since then it has seen a good bounce back uh, it tried to go below 34 700 US 30 and uh, US 100 was absolutely spot on at 15500 and since then it is rising now both are trading at critical resistance level that is at around 15 8 40 and 35 200 300 zone for us 30 so what is going to happen today we are going to look with the help of candlestick charts and indicators don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and press the bell icon and stay tuned with my latest analysis for major global markets and commodities including gold silver and crude oil natural gas so let's start the analysis with us 100 first do watch till the end i am going to give you the trading levels for the day uh, at the end of every analysis now look at this daily chart on the daily charts we can find that see it has got its resistance intact at 16450 levels i had told several times that 16400 450 should provide a stronger resistance now it has got its support intact here at around 15500 only breaking 15500 one can say that it is going to act bearish then the next support level will be at around 14800 to 15000 levels but right now if you look at look at the daily charts now see this is what a big tail and a reversal here also one must not forget that it has to go past this zone at 15850 once 15850 is taken we can expect it to rise again till towards 5950 levels or so so uh, probably today what might happen see also one one thing is of observance is that the opening is almost on the positive note and this candle has opened above the previous candles bottom there is a wick available there is a strong tail and now it is rising so probably if it breaks this zone at 15850 850 levels then one can expect a stronger rise towards 15950 levels and 970 levels else it might try to trade and any short is only below 15700 zone once 15700 is taken it might try to hit again towards 15650 and below levels Hence, for the day, I expect it to trade between 15650 and 15 uh, 8, 850 900 levels. That is what I expect that it might trade between. Also, let's have a look at the 4 hour charts. On the 4 hour charts, it appears see this candle has just started. And after this drop, this is the rise. And probably now, see, this is kind of, I'll say, uh, a hammer. and at the end of this trend this candle is indicating that possibly we might see a reversal from here but yes only if it, it holds valid only if it fails to hold the high of the previous candle and yes 15850 levels if it breaks 15850 probably we might see another uh, strong bullish candle which might take it towards 15950 and 16000 levels also but till the time it is below this we might be looking forward to a drop and how far this could go this could again head towards 15700 the support level which might come into picture and below that it will head towards 15650 so four hour charts appears that we might look forward to a little reversal from here on the two hour charts if you look at the two hour charts so so this is the kind of you can see a flag pattern appearing up here and now this candle is trying to break out out of this and hence any rise beyond 15 8 20 itself will be a good indication that it is going to hit 15 8 80 900 levels or so so on the two hour charts i think till the time it is beyond 15 780 above 15 15 780 we might be looking forward to a rise else below 15 780 and specifically this zone at 15760 if it breaks 15760 it will again head towards 15700 and below levels also till the time it is above this we might be looking forward to 15840 15880 and then 15950 levels or so now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts see this is kind of engulfing first of all this is uh, you can see let me show you this is kind of reversal candle here at the end of this trend but after that we saw one drop however there is a complete engulfing and this is kind of a bullish engulfing candle but from here if it breaks this zone at 15 
840 probably it will be again heading towards 5900 and a plus plus levels so it appears it is looking forward to a rise from here on an hourly chart if you look at three red candles now rising further and now the target is towards 15850 40 and then 5900 levels also it appears that we might be looking forward to this and let's have a look at the indicators on the indicators front on the daily charts you will find that there is a strong resistance available here at around 5900 then 16000 5950 to 16100 levels you it might find a stronger resistance and there is a support here at around 15700 levels so uh, rather i will say 15650 levels or so so any break below 15650 will be a good indication that it might drop further it might drop heavily else it might continue to rise and if you look at the the dpo is on sell zone right now but uh, reversing from here look at the stochastic hitting the bottom and hence probably we might be looking forward to a greener candle today look at the MACD lines are on sell side but curving together and RSI is comfortable on a 4 hour charts 4 hour charts uh, is, it is overbought so and yes there is a crossover on the MACD lines and it is in buy zone but this may cross over any time any point of time it can reverse and you may find that there is a resistance at 15820 levels from there it will definitely rise towards 15900 levels or so on the downside 15700 15660 levels should provide a support look at this sky blue line this is a uh, 50 period exponential moving average which is trying to give it a support here at around 15740 or so so and uh, stochastic is overbought macd lines are on buy zone here considering this let me give you the levels to trade for So if you see it rising beyond 15820, go long here for 15840, 15880 and beyond that it will hit, try to hit 15950 levels. Beyond that also it is possible, however I think uh, it will be difficult for it, it might trade between 15880 to 15700 levels. So on the downside if it breaks 15 740 levels one can go short for 15 700 this might provide a support then 15 660 this might still be a very strong support and breaking 6 15 60 660 one can remain short one can expect it to head towards 15 550 and 15 500 levels again so this is the level to watch out for this is the level to watch out for i think it might trade between these two levels 15660 to 15880 levels for the day so this is all for us 100 now let's move towards us 30 us 30 trading at 35 to 60 levels and if you look at the 4 hour charts probably now it is looking forward to 35600 and the first stoppage at around 35400 it might try to hit 35400 450 levels and from there it might also try to rise sharply towards 35500 and 35600 zone probably if it continues to go beyond 35400 we will be looking forward to 35500 to 600 levels it might try to hit here it appears that it is trying to con complete this reversal and from there we might be looking forward to a drop but yes right now it appears on a 4 hour chart that it is acting bullish also on the 4 hour charts one must observe that it might get a little resistance at around 35400 levels so yes this is the level to watch out for and on the downside see the slope here the slope here is rising and hence we might see a strong bullish candle which might take it towards 35500 35600 levels also on the 3 hour charts yes here we have got the support intact at 35100 and 35050 so only level to watch out for today is 35050 if it breaks 35050 probably it might reverse still again 34800 levels or so else we might be looking forward to a right first resistance at around 34 35400 and the next resistance at around 35600 levels so it might try to hit anywhere in between these two levels look at the two hour charts rise 
two red candles and now a bullish reversal so probably another bullish candle might appear 35400 is definitely on the card it appears and then it will try to hit back again towards 35600 on an hourly charts second green candle there is a wick available possibly third green candle might appear and it might try to hit towards 35300 350 levels or so and hence a bullish breakout from this zone is what we are looking forward to and hence we can expect it to hit back towards 35400 at least now let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts you can see that it is kind of a reversal here after this drop and hence we will be looking forward to a bullish candle probably it might try to hit here somewhere 35400 if 35400 is taken then somewhere here at around 35500 to 600 levels it might try to achieve today let's have a look at the indicators on the indicators front on the daily charts you'll find that 35 to see this 100 moving average giving trying to give it a stronger resistance here at around 35 to 80 levels once 35 to 80 levels is taken 35 350 35 450 levels should be achieved today itself look at the stochastic hitting at the bottom trying to reverse from here and MACD lines crossing on the sell zone that is my worry point that only the MACD lines are trying to indicate that it is <coughs> bearish any break below 35,000 will be a good indication to go short till the time one can remain long. On the 4 hour charts you will find that uh, overbought here and hence can break. And there is a resistance available at around 35,350 levels probably it might try to hit 35,350 and yes any short is recommended below 35,000 levels only. So considering this let me give you the levels to watch out for. So for the day once it's it breaks 35 to 80 one can go long for 35 350 after that 35 420 35 500 and in fact beyond this it might try to hit 35 600 levels also below 35 to 80 i think 35 0, 6, 0 levels is to watch out for below 35060 0, 0, 35000 should come into picture and after that if it drops below 35 still till here you can buy the dip and you can expect it to rise and below 35000 levels you can expect 34 4, 8, 34 800 levels so this is all from my side for us 30 and us 100 don't forget to like share subscribe and comment friends reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries my telegram links are mentioned in the description join my 10th pa 8th batch starting on 10th of january and this is a 15 day mentorship session it will definitely help you become an independent professional trader so thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead